Hey everybody, this is Jay-Z Crazy. I just said to Lisa, let's get stupid. I didn't know what I was going to do, but for some reason I just grabbed cat food. Now how is that stupid? It isn't. It's not stupid. You see, this channel has no direction right now. January 1st, that all changes. But I will feed my cat, and then you and I will do a little fun. What's that fun involved? I don't know. Hold on, everybody. I'm going to show you the process of feeding my cat. Isn't that crazy? No. That's the thing. It's not. Well, then again, he's not even scared of cucumbers. Hold on a minute. Where are all the bowls? I don't know. He has a bunch of bowls, and I don't see them. Hold on, everybody. Jay-Z Crazy just found a cat bowl. Cooper loves the fancy feast gravy lover. Salmon feast. It's in getting all over your hands. In seared salmon. With plenty of gravy. That I just get all over my hands. Thank you for pointing that out, because sure. I could feel it dripping down my fingers. Yeah, I didn't think But I wanted to show everybody what we feed Cooper. This is what we feed Cooper. Come on, Cooper. There you go. I will wash my hand and throw this out. I'm giving you a glimpse into the day of Jay-Z Crazy. Usually starts out with me feeding my cat, Cooper. Are you excited yet? Okay, we just started this about 90 seconds ago, and I already left the table three times. Okay, I'm back here to stay for the rest of the show now. Are you sure? No! I'm not really sure of anything. Oh, here's some hand sanitizer. What will that do? What will it do? It will prevent me from getting all kinds of cooties. That's not real, you know. Do you remember that in school? No. That game people used to play? Like an imaginary germ on their hands. Oh, if I touch you, you have cooties. Oh, you have cooties now. I didn't play that game. You didn't play it? Really? No. What kind of school did you go to? No, I mean, I ignored them and it just was never something. Did they ever say stuff like that? Did they give you cooties? Did they touch you and say you have cooties? No. I know you ignored them, but did they do it? No, not to me specifically, but I ignored But them. you've seen it. Yeah, that's why I said I didn't play that game. What games did you play? Drawing. You play drawing games. We need drawing games. What kind I of game? I would is draw. What? I said I would draw. While you would draw. Yeah. How is that a game? It's not. That's, that's called drawing. Right. You asked me what I did. No, I game. asked you what kind of games you play. Oh, I didn't play any. I just sort of kept to myself. Hmm. That's sad. Not really. It is. It is sad if you didn't play games growing up. Well, not those kinds of games. Okay, what kind of games did you play? Well, when I got home, I would play on the skateboard. Up and down. That's not a game, game either. This You're riding up and down the street on a skateboard. That's not really a game. It was a game to me to get all the way to the very end as far as I could. Now, if you're trying to dodge traffic, that's a game. No, I was, I was trying to make it further and further every time. And I would pick up Really? The, yeah. Did you make it to per <laughs> Peoria <laughs> at any point? <laughs> How far were you trying to make it? As far as it could get to before it, like, I wanted to get all the way down the street to get to, um, the natural food store. I could never get ah, there. Ah, the smell of Purell and salmon cat food. You should what wash, a combination. You should wash your hands. Yeah, I know. I, I'll wash my <laughs> hands after this. Okay, so you ride that skateboard down the street, and that was a game. Yeah. Trying not to get hit by trucks. No, it was trying to get to the, the food store, but I could never actually get there. It was like always like a few blocks before I could get there. But I don't understand how that's a game. To me it was because it was a, a challenge. of. Did you live in a bad neighborhood and the game was to try to get to the store without getting shot? No, Because sorry. that would make more sense. I, I didn't live in a bad neighborhood, no. I just lived where there was a hill and I would just... I was trying to go as fast as I could down that hill and keep going. That's fine, but you looked at that as a game? To me, yeah. That's a weird game. I've never been able to really 
ride a skateboard, bad at skiing. I had these little skis growing up my parents gave me, and in my yard we actually had a little slope. I couldn't even stay on my feet on this little slope, which was only about four feet. No coordination at all. And when it comes to riding things, my friend had a moped. I remember it for some reason I could not stop the moped. I could not work the brakes. I did not know how to properly put on the brakes. And the way I would stop on the moped is I would just drive into a bunch of weeds. <laughs> it was like a cornfield of weeds. And I would just drive full force into the weeds. And then I remember I wasn't any better on roller skates. Oh, I like those. I'm because good. I went to this place called Star Wheels growing up. And to stop, I was no better than on the moped. Instead of stopping the way you're supposed to stop on skates. With the stopper in the front. With the stopper, which I couldn't figure out for some reason. I don't know why. I knew it was there. You just bend your foot back. like. Oh, yeah, you just bend your foot back. It sounds easy to you. But to me, I couldn't make it work, right? So, I would, I would skate really fast. I had no problem skating around that rink fast. I can roller skate fast. But when it came to stopping... I would take the little, the little exit out of the rink. I remember I would travel like 20, 25 feet, going full force. People are like diving out of the way, and they had a video arcade at one end. You enter the little room, and I would stop against the pinball machines That's going bad. about 20 miles per hour. That's bad. <laughs> it is. It is. Just picture me going around this rink, round and round, and then I exit, and I'm going, whoa, boom! Scared Cooper. Into Silver Ball. And that's how I stopped. That was my way of stopping when I was on roller skates. I'm just not good. I'm good at starting things, but I'm not good at stopping. Thank God I figured out the brakes in the car, because I, <laughs> I couldn't figure that out. Everybody would be in very very dangerous situation all right well here we are I hope you're enjoying your night or your day everybody hey, how about um, ice ski um, ice skating have you did that I like ice that. skating yeah I ice skated I ice skated with some girl growing up did you don't even remember her name I think this was in school I always wanted to skate in the Rockefeller Center rink Never skated there, but I skated. And I've never really been crazy about skating. It's like that little blade. It doesn't even seem like it's, it's thick enough to hold a human up. Oh, it's and I never found it very enjoyable to skate on a little tiny blade. That was really never fun for me. And then you can twist your ankle very easily when you ice skate. I never had that problem. Yeah, you never had that problem. <laughs> you miscoordinated over there. I can't even stop a moped. <laughs> so roller skating was more my thing. Ice skating I never really liked. Driving a moped was fun. Until the fear came over me when I wanted to stop. I'm going to clone you. You're going to clone me? Put you inside of a ball. Why? No, no, it's full grown. And then... Uh, Where am I going? Oh, you're not going anywhere. Look, like I told you I didn't feel well earlier, but it doesn't mean I'm dead yet. I didn't say that. She's already cloning me. Uh, She's already got plans for the future. No, so no. Jay-Z Crazy can go on for many, many years after I'm physically gone. No, then I'll introduce you to him and so you can teach him everything he needs to know. That way, well... You're not feeling well. He can be Jay-Z crazy so What does he need to know? I act like a, a freaking lunatic. No, no, everything. Like, teach him your life experience. You're going to teach him lunacy. That's right. There you go. Now you know Lisa's plans. You and know then, our plans for the channel, if you watched the last show. And now you know Lisa's plans. She's going to clone me. He'll be right beside you in videos after that. And you, Hi, this is my clone, Jay-Z Maybe crazy. we should try that. Do some kind of video manipulation. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a show this week with my clone next to me. Right! <laughs> See if we can work that out. That'd be fun. 
Okay, I'm tired. I'm really, I'm not feeling so good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this little shindig early. Shindig. The shindig. <laughs> what is a shindig anyway? It's like a party. It's like a dance. Yeah. Really? Yeah, like a hoedown. I don't party. feel like doing a hoedown. You said shindig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you maybe that's the wrong word. It is the wrong word. No, I just figured out I really don't feel like doing a shindig. <laughs> End this little thing here. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow, which is Sunday, but it's already a most Sunday. It's less than an hour away from Sunday. Sure. But I'm doing two videos a day, so I'm going to get these things up by midnight. See, technically, doing two a day. It was one day this past week where I only did one, and then I fell asleep and didn't upload the next one. <laughs> so, I think on Friday there was three Jay-Z crazies to make up for the one I missed the day before. See, I told you before, they'll all balance out. Even if I only do one show for one reason or another, then the next day you can expect three. Okay? On average, it's two a day. What are you looking at? Hooper. And Cooper, he's looking Cooper at you. is staring at me. Lisa's staring at me. No, I was staring at him and he's staring at you. Lisa's staring at him. He's staring at me. I'm staring at you. Lisa. Everybody's staring. And nobody has anything to say. So, enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody. And I'll see you back here soon with more on Jay-Z Crazy. There you go. Whoa. Uh-oh. <laughs>